sunset in Texas. Truck, uh, didn't even run the truck at all last night. Man, it was so nice. So quiet here. This little tiny truck stop. I don't even know what the name of it is. I don't have my contacts in yet. Just got done walking land. Um, anyway, we, uh, last night we dropped off at the Walmart. And, uh, I don't usually get out, get over here to play with you too much, but when I do, it's usually drop off at the Walmart, and there's a, um, I forget the name of the place. Pick up a load of pallets. It's it's right on the same street as the Walmart. <clears throat> and uh, so I showed up there. I got there about, I don't know, six six thirty, and they're already closed, but they have a, uh, you know, the old bill box right outside. And you just just take your bills, you know, sign sign, leave them a copy, go on your way. So I got a load that was going to uh, Kansas City, and uh, it was for like a, I think it was like Monday morning delivery, so it was pretty good. It's like six hundred something miles, and uh, so we dropped dropped the empty, went back to get our loaded trailer, and uh, oh man, it was. <clears throat> the trailer was too low <clears throat> unfortunately with this you know with this truck I'd like to I'd like to try to invest in something one day maybe after I get it paid off and everything but anyway getting ahead of myself the uh, um, the trailer was too low so my truck was too high and I don't have the uh, the, the manual switch to deflate your airbags so you can lower you know drop your, your your rear end so you know i tried to crank you know crank up on the trailer but you know, you know that load of pallets is like almost forty thousand pounds you ain't you ain't moving that thing and it, and it wasn't budget i tried <laughs> and uh and all it needed to go up was probably like you know maybe you know four inches which isn't a lot but you know, when I was backing up, it was backing right up to the right, you know, right at the fifth wheel. So I, I couldn't go nowhere with it. So we, uh, I kept trying to like make a ramp. You know, there was broken boards everywhere. So I was getting like some boards and trying to make a ramp. So the trailer, the trailer was so heavy, it was just as soon as it was just snapping the boards, wasting my time. So sent in the information, let them know what was going on. I don't think they were too happy about that. But, uh... <clears throat> so I had to write a note on the bills. And put the bills, like, in the door. Okay. Nope. Attention. A new important message has arrived. What do we got? Oh. You have formed on red... Let's see what happens. Just assigned assigned another load. So they um, so they took that current load off me. And they gave me another load, picking up at the same place. And uh, which the trailer was there, and I found the trailer before I did anything. The trailer was there. The trailer was fine. When you go to the bill box to get your stuff, there was no bills in the bill box. Yeah. So they told me to hang out for the night which was all right because i only had like a you know about an hour hour and a half left anywhere to drive you know by the time i sat around and waited and waited you know so we just drove about three minutes up the street here hmm. i think this little truck stop 
And uh, so this morning, we tried again, called the place three or four times. And I didn't want to drive down there, start my clock, and, and have to wait. So, so they just took the current load off of me and assigned me another load. So let's see what happens. I'll check back in here a little bit and let you know where we might be going. <clears throat> Whew, man, that was a little better. Contacts in. I can see what's going on now. So, uh, <clears throat> I guess I didn't really say that, how we, we got here to Plainview. So we, uh, yesterday, we split off our load, Oklahoma City, and, uh, I actually picked up right there, there's like a, one of our little drop yards there, and, uh, if you knew where, like, the, uh, the TA, was it off of, uh, <laughs> man, I believe off 40 there in the TA in Oklahoma City or drop yard just like a couple miles down so we picked you know split off our load there and we gave us they gave us a load from the drop yard there going to the Walmart here in Plainview so man here we are well, let's send, send us another trip let's see what we got <clears throat> <laughs> oh man. So they sent me. <laughs> oh man, this is crazy. So this is where the communica communication comes in. <clears throat> Which they obviously must not have a lot today. Oh man. So they sent me the load, the first load that I had picked up last night. <laughs> and uh well the trailer's too low so <laughs> so they just sent it back to me uh, we have to tell them sorry oh man let me let me, let me just call them here crazy thing so they uh, so they sent me a message you know so they remember they sent me that load back that they couldn't pick up last night and uh, and so we uh so they asked me to go back over there and uh, and see if I can if I can get in you know if I can get the load picked up and I, and I told them I was like it wasn't a problem getting the load picked up it was a problem of you know damage on my truck because the trailer was too low and it was just, like I said it, it just butted right up to the fifth wheel and it feels like three or four inches higher that I could slide it under it would be good. You know, I don't have that manual switch to dump the bag, so. So they asked me to go over there anyway. So they're going to send another driver over there to help me out. So before I, you know, got all upset and, you know, I was like, no, you know, I'm not doing this, blah, blah. So I was like, all right, we'll go over there. We'll try it out. So as soon as I pull up in the parking lot, I see the other driver. And, uh, another another owner operator so I told him what was going on and he said eh, it's not a problem you know, he, he said he's got a Kenworth <laughs> and I guess the Kenworths they come 
they all come with that manual switch so we uh so he's like well, let's just get on over to the drop yard over there you know where they have all their loaded trailers <clears throat> and we'll go we'll go take care of it so when we get over there there's another driver from my company and she she's already backed up to it hooked up and she pulled out so we walked over there and she was you know come over to talk to us and she um I guess that I guess after she got hooked up and pulled out and then she realized she had the wrong trailer and uh it was it was actually going to the uh you know there was two trips going to the same location and uh I guess she just got in a hurry she said and that was the trailer so she realized she got the wrong trailer so we you know sat there and talked and and you know she went on her way and she just dropped the trailer and I just backed right up underneath it and there was no problem you know so we got you know helped out from a couple drivers there and, and there'd be no big deal so we are uh i pulled into the loves here in amarillo it's unfortunately it's not one of our fuel stops but if i go 100 yards over there to the ta we can get fuel so so that's where we're going so we got to get up to Kansas City tomorrow morning. I think it's like, like 9 a.m. So it's about, I think it said it was close to like one o'clock or so right now. So we're doing all right. Wasn't, wasn't a waste. Filled up a cup, got a little snack. And, um, that's about it. I got a little bit to drink here, drive over there and get some fuel, I guess. Ooh, that's hot. in Oklahoma. We're at the Loves. We're just kind of taking a break. Look how dirty this thing is. Ugh, look at that truck. Ugh, this thing is nasty. Actually, we went through a little bit of rain. Like I said, a little bit of rain. So now it's like the, the top half of the truck is clean in the bottom half <laughs> everything from the top just went to the bottom so now the bottom's like super dirty but uh oh, gosh man we're pretty pretty quiet ride the whole way we uh not really sure how far we're gonna go more tonight still got like six hours i could drive i think it's like around four o'clock right now I know I ain't driving at no midnight or nothing, so this is gonna be harder to find a parking spot. So we'll probably drive like maybe like another four or five hours. See how I feel. I feel okay. I'm doing all right. We just stopped. Take a little break. Swift your legs. Get out and walk around a little bit. We're going to uh, get back on the road here shortly. We can deliver these pallets here. Empty pallets. Kansas City in the morning. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make that 9 o'clock appointment because of the whole, everything that happened. But knowing these guys, you can, hopefully they can change the appointment time. But we'll see what happens. We'll do our best. So, uh, yeah, I was just going to drive straight in, you know, because I'm not too, you know, thrilled about driving all night. But I was almost going to just drive straight through just to uh, 
just to ensure we can make delivery, but it's like right in the middle of the city. So I don't think we're gonna do that. So for right now, we're just gonna go and get out of here. Catch up to you guys here a little bit. Man, this day turned to, this day turned to crap, quick. So remember when I was saying that that, that other little driver was there and she, she backed up to my trailer and she realized she was in the wrong trailer or she had, sorry, she realized she picked up the wrong trailer. Swap paperwork and stuff and... <laughs> So, apparently, she had the right trailer, and I didn't. So, in the end, both of us end up having the wrong trailer. Her load, her load, uh, I'm sorry, my load was supposed to go straight to Kansas City. Her load was going somewhere and getting relayed than coming to Kansas City. So I'm not sure where her load is at. Well, I'm sorry, where my load is at, but I have hers. Oh man, so I showed up at the, the customer and they said that my appointment was for um, Wednesday, 6 a.m. <laughs> so I was on the right trip, but had the wrong load. So, I don't know. My mistake, you know, got in a hurry, trying to get out of here, out of there, everything that was going on. So, now we're just sitting here in Kansas City. We're about, you know, about a mile from the place. I couldn't stay there because it was just too small of a place, too congested. So, it was an industrial park, so... Came over here to the Flying J, I'm just kind of hanging out, waiting to see what's going on. Uh, kind of sucks. Ain't really much I can do. Can't really get upset about it. It's, it was my my deal, you know. You know, she she had the right trailer from the beginning, and uh, everything that that happened, you know, I don't know, whatever. It happens. Get in a hurry. Get in a hurry, mistakes happen. So this is where we're at. So we're just kind of waiting to see what's going on. Let you guys know.